All right, well, listen, we're continuing along here at the corner of Nine Mile Woodward, along with Eric Gorgeous, uh, Bob Lutz, uh, and me, Fred Nahat, taking a great look at some, well, an annual automotive uh, showcase here uh, in Metro Detroit, and folks from around the world come and enjoy it with us. It's called the Dream Cruise, and this is the Dream Cruise Roadshow. Next up is uh, from Russ Dalziel, a 1971 Bob Cadillac MM Lifeliner Ambulance. Incredible. Yeah. Well, this was a, a, a time before minivans and before full-size vans with V8 engines and before SUVs, where if you wanted something big, you probably had to start out with a Cadillac. And there were a number of ambulance builders uh, who would then put an ambulance body on. You can see it has a raised roof to permit the EMS personnel to stand up. And it was kind of the hard way of getting there. Today, it's it's really much more practical to have a full-size Chevy or Ford vans uh, where, where you don't have to raise the roof and do all that other stuff. But here people could get injured or seriously ill and they'd be taken to the hospital in style, comfort, speed, and so forth. Uh, Cadillac pretty much owned this market. Lincoln didn't do any and Chrysler had no equivalent. And of course the, um, uh, the counterpart to this is uh, for people's final journey was the Cadillac hearses. And Cadillac is still uh, very big in the what, what is euphemistically referred to as the professional car market. But now it's, it's not ambulances anymore. It's for that final journey. <laughs> well, uh, let's learn a little bit more about it uh, from uh, Russ himself, who's out uh, in Nine Mile with Eric Gorgeous. Eric. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, sir, and you? I'm well, I'm well. So tell me about what you got. This is pretty uh, unique. Well, um, this is a 1971 uh, it's Cadillac ambulance. It's made by Miller Meteor, who uh, uh, upfitted from uh, what, what you get from Cadillac is the front to, to the four doors and, and a trunk. Okay. And they took care of, of stretching it and putting the high top, there's a steel high top on it. And then from there, uh, they put the equipment in. So your cabinets, uh, the different types of flooring and-, and So they stuff. outfitted the vehicle. Yes. Basically yeah. they take it and then turn it into an ambulance. Yes. And what made you want to own an ambulance? I was 16, had a driver's license, a CPR card, a first aid card. My job after school, because I knew somebody that owned an ambulance company was, I drove an ambulance Friday, Saturday nights, and I still do today. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> you drive this much? Uh, I do all the shows. You do? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow at, at the Ferndale show. All right, cruising <laughs> down Woodward and yep. hanging out, having a good oh, yeah. time. Yep. I gotta imagine people love seeing this car. Okay. Oh yeah, we are in three movies with it. Uh, done all types of stuff. That's great, man. Hey, thank okay. you for coming out. Okay, thanks. All right, Fred. All right, Eric, thank you. Uh, that was uh, sort of a novelty item. Uh, really, really interesting and a great story.